Alright, this is the bonus video of my Let's Play on Rogue Galaxy. It's, this is we're covering the quarries. This is the Scor Scorching Alchemist, known as the Mark 8 Salamander, I believe. Um, he is a storyline quarry hunt, so you don't have to really worry about him. Uh, the next is... The Tomb Guardian. I can't remember his name right now. To fight him, you need a mirror unit, and you can find him on, as you can see, um, Vadan Maya near the observation deck. Uh, the next one is... Uh, the basic f way to fight him, by the way. I forgot to do the uh, <laughs> strategy. Uh, recommendation, get Earthshaker and use <laughs> Flash Sword and jump and attack. He'll do a lot of damage and you'll pretty much kill him pretty quickly. This is the Cave Bandit. <coughs> you need a Stellar Crystal for him, and as you can see, he's near the uh, Great Tablet on Vidan. I recommend waiting for a while until you're able to beat a future quarry before you take him on, but <coughs> the recommendation when you do fight him is Illusion Sword, attack from a distance. His attacks are powerful and he's relatively quick, so... Next is the Steel Shipwright. To fight him, you need a Cyclonic Pump. He's pretty easy, same strategy as the Tomb Guardian, Flash Sword, and Jump and Attack. <coughs> now this one you won't be able to fight until uh, you reach Marglin. This is the Wayward Phantasm. As you can see, he's in uh, the, Sol the Silvazar Desert Ruins. He's along the main path, you can't miss the uh, Thinking Circle. You need a crystal staff to get him to appear. Uh, recommendation... <laughs> Nothing really, just go all out. Uh, quickest way of fighting him is... <coughs> Illusion Sword. I did it in the uh, Let's Play, so you all see it there. Oh wait, no I didn't. I did it in the previous recording of Chapter 11. Anyway. <coughs> Virtuous Wanderer. <laughs> um... You need a primeval beef, and as you can see, he's on the deck of the Dorgan Ark in the Rose Nebula. Pretty easy, just use, same thing as the uh, boss that looks like him. Use your gun and Illusion Edge. Now, this is the, an, an, an annoying one. This is the Jungle Master. You need a cursed mask to get him to appear, and he appears in the Path of Ruins on Jerica, the Plaza. There's a teleporter right near him. Now... You see that little divot on his forehead? There is a red rock that sits there. For the first half of the battle, you have to destroy that first. Afterwards, his body can become vulnerable to damage. Uh, play defensive. Use your uh, gun and uh, illusionary sword. If you can beat him, you can beat the cave bandit. This is the Shadeless Assassin. You need a smoked rainbow newt. He appears in the Cancer King's ruins, a tunnel. It's a plus shaped tunnel, so it's hard to miss. Um, no real <laughs> strategy for him. Attack from a distance relatively. He likes to jump, so be prepared for that. Since steeped drifter, you need a myriad branch. Uh, he's like all the other creatures look like this. You just jump and attack. It's not all that difficult. Alright. The Rumored Lady Hunter. You need a magic lipstick, and you need to have Lilica and Kisala in your party. Um, pretty much the same as all the monkeys. Just attack until he dies. Watch out for his roll attack as well. He does do a lot of physical damage if he gets that roll attack in. The Tower of Predator. <coughs> You can find him, or warp to Gladius Tower 1, Floor 6, and take the elevator up to 7. The walkway between Towers 1 and 2 will have him. You need a perfect elixir to fight him. Um, since he's an ice-based creature, fire does really good against him. So I'll have Zegrim use his flame sword. Not much else to do about that. Now this is a, an annoying one, Tower Matador. <laughs> Same concept, but do the Tower 2... Six floor, floor 6 and go up to tower 7 and go to the walkways between the tower and you'll find his circle. You need a perfect reviver for him. <laughs> now, 
even if you get there and you have the circle there, he won't appear unless you're at least level 20 hunter rank. <laughs> and that's the bare minimum. Um, he's mostly show, he does hit pretty hard, but he's like all the other monsters look like him, just uh, flash sword and jump attack. Uh, the Desert Idol. <laughs> you can find him in the Kuji Desert near the Monument. And walk um, down the central path a little bit. You need the Alluring Lamp to summon him, which are dropped by Mole Man in that area. <clears throat> um, use your Flash Sword and Gun. He's not all that difficult. He's, mo he's more uh, intimidating than anything else. The Winged Traveler. He's um, a bit of an annoyance one. Um, let's see here. He's in the center of Johannesburg. All you need is a ho ho bird feather. Uh, and you also need a Jupus as your party leader when you use it, or else the Winged Traveler won't appear. <coughs> so, once that's appear, it's just a bird, you know, jump and attack. After a while, it'll fall to the ground and you can, you know, attack the ground again. But, <coughs> not really much of a challenge here. You can use the Illusionary Sword to attack from the ground. Rock and Roller, he's a, a bit of an annoyance one. <coughs> he is at the Dryken Crash site where you get the free shot. You need a CO2 powder to get him to appear. <coughs> and they're sold at almost every shop. Um, it's basically a flaming version of the tortoise. I do believe you need, yeah, you need a charge attack to, uh, to uh, break his shield first. And you can use the free shot and freeze him. Doesn't do much. <laughs> My recommendation is Kisala's uh, daggers, dagger slash, something like that. It does ice damage and has a high ability of po probably freezing it, so it's a good, quick way of getting rid of them. The Fallen Monarch here. He appears on Marglin in the High Forest <coughs> at the Waterfall. You need the Alexander to get him to appear. <coughs> now, he is kind of annoying. Uh, recommendation Illusionary Sword, stay back and just keep whacking him. He will be pushed back by the wave of the sword, so he won't get anywhere near you. Run out, rinse and repeat, you know. Ancient Fairy, you need a Zimbabwe Axe. <laughs> he appears at the very entrance of the Leo King's castle, the very first room, where you met the witch. <laughs> you can buy a Zimbabwe Axe at the shop on Jerica, uh, uh, Burkakra Village, or you can find one in the Silvazar Desert. Um, for not much difficulty about him. Use your illusionary sword and attack him while jumping, I think. He is strong, though, so be careful. Now, I like this one, the Labyrinth Terror, because it's just so much, it's just such a pun. Um, <coughs> or such a, uh, big joke on a lot of religions. <coughs> anyway, um, you need a Nebulodon A. And it is dropped by Living Lavas in Chapter 7. Um, <coughs> it's basically a giant mimic. So, burning strikes and so on. You find him in the uh, giant Maze of Chaos area with the weird writing on the wall and whatnot. Uh, Illusionary Sword, Flash Sword, and uh, Burning Strike are really good combinations to kill this guy. Rogue Pirates. <coughs> These guys are annoying. You find them on Rosa near the spaceport entrance. They're off to the uh, sides, by the way. One of the sides. You need a lucky clover to get them to appear. Now, they aren't tough. They're just annoying. All you need really is an illusionary sword and just wail on one. Focus on one. Set your attacks to focus on that one, mo on that one pirate. And just wail on him. <laughs> and then move to the next and the next. Uh, the Envoy from on high. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You can find them at the Golza Sanctuary Plaza, right near the teleporter. You need a Ceiling Sunfire, or Sun Sphere, for him. A ceiling Sunfire, Sun Sphere, whatever. Um, <coughs> you need to be in the top 500 levels for him to appear. I was already Hunter 1 when I fought him. Basically a dragon. He'd like to use lightning. Um, you need to use your barrier break shots first. Afterwards, Illusionary Sword, Frost, uh, Flash Sword, Twin Sword, so on. Bring a lot of um, 
CO2 powder and other things that cure fire status. Or better yet, just equip something that protects you from fire. And you'll be pretty you'll find it pretty easy. Alright, Seaside Terror. This is on the bonus planet Alistilia. Um hmm. <coughs> you need a pirate's grog to get him to appear. He appears uh, near the beach where you found the succubus slippers. Um, it's just a worm. It likes to burrow underground, so just wait for him to pop up. Well on him, he'll go under. While he's under, heal. And wait. That's simple. The last one, Raft to the Underworld, which is really interesting. Especially those cute little things on his back. Anyway. Um, this is found near the crashed ship on Alstilia. You need a dark music box to get him to uh, appear. <coughs> um, he's not that difficult, really. He's diff he's immune to any attacks from behind, by the way. Um, hold on. Uh, illusionary sword. Just you know, use your abilities and attack at him, attack him. He's not that difficult, really. Anyway, that is all the quarries, where to find them, how to, uh, my strategies on how to beat them, and what items you need to fight them with. I'll post in the description the name of the, the um, <coughs> title of the creature, like this is the Wrath to the Underworld, and which item you need for quicker access. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next set, or the next LP. Bye!